Hello, people of unknown origin, and welcome to the Toxic Broadcast. I am Myra Karn, and this is Brian Spencer's Hacker Evolution Time Dimensions. This is a fun little game that basically simulates what hacking would be like if people used SuperDOS in uh, far in the future. The story is basically, uh, it, it's kind of strange, pretty much data or like data transfers become so fast that now data packets arrive before you even request them so the but yeah basically a website will come up before you even type in the name that'd be kind of strange but um let's uh start this game toxic broadcast there we go all right i've this is basically your user interface. I've already uh, like um, I've already done this level several times, so I know how to do it a different way. So uh, let's see here. Scan atm dot hacker dash evolution dot com. You know, there are lots of times that I wish that uh, hacking was this easy in real life because it would be. Uh, pretty easy to make a lot of money very quickly um, first let me crack port.hacker no, no um, crack atm.hacker-evolution.com what? oh, the service is unprotected, you don't need to crack it <laughs> who, who doesn't put a password on their uh, ATM service? I guess hackerevolution.com does it. Connect ATM dot hacker dash evolution dot com. What? Oh, decrypt. It has a decrypted key on it. Alright. If you enjoy computers or just uh, strategy, actually. Because there is a lot of strategy in this game, like not getting uh, tagged with a, a tracer or anything like that, and bouncing through different connections. Also, knowing if uh, that trace ETA below the map there, if that gets down, you have to abort before it finishes, otherwise you will get uh, caught. Well, first let me check my first goal. Um, yeah. Alright, I guess I have to crack uh, core.hacker-evolution.com And it's kind of a fun problem solving game. If I remember correctly, in order to continue you actually do have to get traced, so... Oh, you've been traced. Um, Um, so what did it, did it crack or what? Oh, here. Yeah. Alright, so, let me bounce through here, bouncing my signal through that access point to the atm.hacker-evolution.com. That way, uh, it will take them longer to trace me and I should be able to decrypt it. Uh, without being uh, traced again. What? Oh, hey, I, I finished it. Alright, let me connect atm.hacker-evolution and then transfer $1,000. Like I said, I really wish that it was this easy to hack in real life. Uh, like, what? I, I thought I was connected. Server unreachable. What? Why is the server unreachable? Um, scan hacker. Er, dang it. ATM dot hacker dash evolution dot com. 
Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's currently unprotected. I don't know why I wouldn't be able to bounce to it. I mean, connect to it. Oh, there we go. I must have spelled it wrong the first time. Um, now, transfer $1,000. Be prepared to abort just in case. Alright. Oh, sweet. Well, and now, as you can see over here, I have $1,000 in my account. I'm going to transfer a little more, just so that I can lower my trace, which basically you pay some service for, like, um, you pay some service to, like, give you a new IP address and everything, so that way they can't trace you. Alright. Um, basically, it lowers the this trace value. So I'm going to kill trace. Cost 500 for uh, 10 percent. Just gonna spend most of it on killing my trace. Um, next, I'm going to uh, log out. I'm going to connect it. Uh, you can't. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, that's a problem. Okay. Crack hacker dash. Oh, okay. Uh, there's no service for my port. Oh, here. Yeah. Crap, I don't think I'll be able to. Oh wait, I think I know the password, so... Yeah, here. When you do things out of order, you kind of get lost with what you're supposed to do next. But, um, it's kind of fun finding new ways to do it. Let's see, what was it? User.hacker-evolution.com Alright. User.hacker-evolution.com Echo-evolution.com I believe it was pass something. I don't remember the password, but... See so if they're running... Alright. Uh, crap. They just have to watch my trace CTA. And I should be fine. Seven, six, sorry, five, four, three, yes. It gets very uh, edgy sometimes. Um, like, I don't really know how to describe it, but basically, there's a lot of tension when you're about to. Uh, Um, here, wait a second. Not hacker dash evolution. There's, oh, dang it. Oh, I have to log out first. Ah. Um, there is a lot of tension when you're, uh, doing things because uh, like you're afraid you'll be traced and if you get traced too much you have to restart the level entirely so that gets annoying you can also upgrade your computer by uh, spending the money that you gained so uh, I should be able to crack that um, almost hurry 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 oh crap but I'm not gonna make it Two, one, yes, just barely made that. <laughs> See, just lots of tension when things come within like a half a second of you being traced. So, yeah, yeah, just a second. Next, uh, sec dot hacker 
dash evolution. You really have to be able to analyze things well and look for clues and all that. Uh, I know I haven't even completed the first level yet, but I will leave the rest to you because this is definitely a very good game. I believe it was only like uh, three bucks when I bought it, so uh, I definitely would recommend this. Uh, it's on Steam, pretty cheap, uh, very fun little game you can pick up, and uh, enjoy. Goodbye.